Hello, I'm Martin Franska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Iadore, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord difficulty. Uh, if you watched the previous part, you already know what the plan for it today is. Uh, we want to move away from the capital, clear a few more tier 1 locations and then go into the second ring, get a free settlement and scout the, the provinces with resources to find out uh, how fast we can take them. I still think we're gonna have to wait, but it's possible that uh, we are already strong enough to take them. We would have to be very lucky to get like probably the weakest possible guard in there, but well, maybe anything is possible. So let's, let's start uh, by moving to these two locations. Before that, do we have everything that we need? The spell setup looks good. Don't want to equip the glove yet. And our scout can keep exploring for now. But I will have to get the barbarian camp. Probably I'm gonna risk it. Wait the remaining 8%. Uh, we are exploring exploring planes the capital is planes should be planes yeah it's planes so uh, I think the chance of being ambushed in planes is not that high but anything else in the first ring either forest or hills if I go there without units just saying hey kill me I'm here alone so in a few turns we will have to invest into barbarians which means we're gonna drop to like minus let's say 20 something It would help so much if we could get both the resources and start working our economy. Just uh, a sawmill here and the mine here would uh, almost solve the problem. Well, we'll see. Uh, enough talking. Let's just uh, do something. Uh, oh, you are going there and you are still going to explore for like three more turns. Mm, we can build something. I don't want to build Forester's Guild, uh, we want to wait just in case we get resources. What we could build is a Farmer's Market, but we don't have any plant provinces, so no point in doing that. I think I'm going to just get the camp now. Why not? Okay, go, go, go. Where do we want to start? Uh, doesn't really matter. Just take the first one. We could build pubs. That's something we could do. We could also build like show booth, pottery. Actually, pottery we probably not. We want to wait for the red wood. But all these basic buildings that don't require don't require resources and gems, we can probably get. Just checking if there is something more important. Here we want to wait for the iron. Yeah, let's do this. We'll need theater at some point, so might as well get ready for it. And the pub. Go. Hmm. Probably a bad idea staying here. Two, four, two, four, six, two, four, six. Okay, no matter where the bowman stands, he can't reach healers, that's the reason why I moved like this. Uh, oh, even two bowmen. That can be a problem. Okay, let's give them some targets. And we definitely have to start working on them. Two, four, six, that's fine. Okay, good enough.
Mä oon... Hilop. This is exactly what I didn't want to see. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of damage for this guy. Maybe attacking wasn't the best idea. Six. So this will be like seven and two and three. One and three. Well, he survived. Now we can heal enough. Use another fatigue to pray, play it really safe. Ow. So, range four. Which means this should be a kill for the hero. Okay, Perry. I think we want that. Uh, hit point for the healer. And here's one. So, we bought uh, like four items from... Uh, uh, or in the capital, and in like four turns, we found three of them. That's ridiculous. Astral energy, okay, you can sell that. Weapon store. Now we don't have a warrior. You're gonna start uh, getting weapons again in all forms. Abandoned temple, that sounds better. What's inside? Clerics, right? Yep. Okay, this is a target. Undead and 2% to go. Probably won't find anything but plus 2 gold per turn. It's actually gonna be useful. Oh, and I forgot to build another pump. Never mind. Good enough. Kill maybe for the hero, some extra experience. Yep. And those zombies, I think I'd, r oh, come on. I'd rather fight in the range of our healers. Thinking about fighting while standing in the swamp, but then we would give them a hill, so I'd rather move back I think, stand on the plains above, force them to stand in the swamp. Can hear you probably should use VAB. Question is for what? I think here. We'll just move so that we can attack twice. And we'll tank the damage for one extra turn.
like to avoid doing this, but don't have a choice. I have to use astral energy to finish off the zombie. Come on. Okay, level up. This time health, and um, I was hoping for uh, another experience boost, more spell slots. Well, didn't happen, so let's take the Taumaturgy, it's the best choice from these three, I think. Um, yeah, regeneration, don't want Order of the Defender, and here we have some warrior gear. Oh, really? Old Windmill, that's a nice surprise in the last 2%, guarded by... by blind here, goblins again. Sure. Minus seven. Now we take those barbarians. Yeah, I'm gonna take. Come on. Vap instead of one. Uh, instead of one fatigue. In case we, in case we get ambushed, it's probably better. We can move out of the capital and there we go, at minus 25. Hmm. Here I was actually hoping for more than 7, the weakest tier 2 guide. I bet that we have the weakest guide here and then uh, in those provinces where it matters, that will be something completely ridiculous. You won't be able to get there for another like 50 turns. Um, how do you... we want to do this? We can stay where we are, I think. Oh, nice. I always like to see double shot this early. Uh, another fatigue. And what can they do? Nothing dangerous yet. This is a kill. Good. Okay, this was way too easy. Well, I was hoping that we could maybe get uh, like nine or maybe ten units here. This would be a good fight to get some extra experience. Interesting decision. That would take forever to get there for, with the hero and get the, another last hit for him. Not worth it, and the woman would uh, kill himself anyway. Mm. 
I think here I'm gonna prioritize the parry. It's a very nice uh, defensive boost. Most of the time we are just defending anyway, so for now the forest march is not that crucial. Uh, necromancers and the slugs. That will have to wait, definitely. Okay, we can start exploring. And now, fingers crossed. What can we do? Um, it's the second ring, so it's like 7 to 9. We should be able to handle 7, I think. But that's like the maximum. Let me see. 2, 4, 6. With web. Yeah, probably 7. 8 would be really, really pushing it. Can we just dual, dual wield once, like, uh, more damage? Okay. And I'm still forgetting those pumps. Please, 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 we need the iron. Oh, and this time RNG is on our side. Seven we are definitely gonna do. And we should be able to win this unless I make some stupid mistake somewhere. Um, okay, it looks good, I think. And... Half of them have forced march, which might not be a bad thing. There are some hills. My guess is the club throwers are gonna end up on uh, two of these three tiles. I'll slow them down, they'll have three turns and they can just throw their clubs, lose some stamina. Uh, while they're doing that, we're gonna kill these orgs, and then we'll have to somehow probably handle club throwers together with witch doctors. Should be doable. Okay, one fatigue for this guy should be enough as long as he uses the forest march. That'll get him down to like three stamina and will be dangerous anymore. Uh, here. We're gonna need one more, probably. Come on, come on, run, run. There we go. Okay, down to six. So if he uses the forest march, that means he'll get down to. One and one, two, three, it's still too far away, so they should move closer and start attacking. Just gonna cost them a significant amount of stamina, so probably won't have to use uh, fatigues on these two. Next. Come on, come on, first march, you can do it. Or not. It's like the worst thing that could have happened here. Ow! have to get another unit closer. I have to be very careful. One. Two. Please kill him. 
Good. I think I have to use another fatigue. <clears throat> Okay, that looks better now. I would just have to kill them before the witch doctors get too close. I can just shoot. Missed this forest march, but it's actually good. And again, that's like another fatigue for us or for him. So, what do we have left? Um, two astral energies. Do we have any ammo? Nope. One fatigue that we're gonna save. For probably this guy. I think the best thing we can do is just tank the hit. Maybe attack with the hero. Okay, problem is we are running out of stamina as well. Um, okay, what we can do is to get a kill, use Astral Energy, this is an expensive fight. I uh, will get a resource for it, so it's worth it. Turn around, gonna have to take one more hit. And now we can just heal, block the path. Do we have one more fatigue? No, we don't. He's down to five stamina. So just keep healing. And now it's time to finish this. Good. I have to say that 8 Oryx would probably be too much. He got really lucky here. I would go for 8, but um, it most likely lose, lose a unit against 8. We are running out of heals. But on the other hand, we still had the Astral Energy and Vab, so maybe it would have been fine. Oh, this is a good one. Extra healing. Um, attack, don't want metal for resilience, will for victory order. Mm, yes, and this is another one. Morale and healer's metal, but, oh, this is the first one. Okay, so I'm gonna take that. I don't want to see the income now. Actually, it's not too bad. Just took three extra medals and only went from minus 25 to minus 34. We are not getting that much from these two provinces. Oh, good. Now we can build some more buildings in the capital. Start with the forge, then go for uh, foundry, and meanwhile we'll try to get to the redwood. Of 
fast can we get there? One, hopefully two, three. Goblin Scout of the Titan, that will have to wait. Um, this sucks. Let's get the archery, and I think I'll actually head back to the capital for the extra spell, because one extra fatigue can be the difference between winning uh, the ambush or losing. We lose like two turns of exploring, whatever. If it saves the scout, it's worth it. What spells and now fatigue or astral energy? Just go with the defensive setup. And income from iron increased by five doesn't say anything about the mines. works this way. Just wanted to make sure that we don't need a mine for the bonus. Now we only need to get the red wood and we should be fine. We still have the plus two gold per turn from the windmill. Okay. It's possible that there are are two assassins, but it's like the worst case scenario. That's much easier than what I expected. He got uh, lucky with those orcs already, and he, he re got, got, got lucky again. Uh, something like this should be fine, and yeah, this is easy. Still have to be careful because our defenses suck until we get the upgrades to turtlebacks. Two, four, six. Okay, let's get closer. We need to give the bowman a target so that he doesn't move closer. And now we have to move back because I don't want to take the hit from the thief. Um, hmm. Maybe this was too soon. Dropped too much, it's probably gonna just wait. No, oh, still moving, so it's fine. Two, four, five. Okay, this is close enough. Oh, good job blocking the tile for the assassin. That actually helps. Oh, a bad idea is it to move closer with both healers. It's okay. He's now in the range of the bowman, but uh, doesn't have any stamina left, so whatever. Just want to kill as many units as possible before the assassin gets uh, in the range. Okay, now we can go back, heal, and wait for the remaining units. Do 
you have forest knowledge? You don't. How much damage can we do? 7 to 12. Uh, this should be a kill. 1, 2, 3. There we go. Okay, so the Redwood is ours as well, and now we can finally start working on the economy. He got really lucky on this point, uh, they expect that we'll be able to get both the resources, uh, resources. I was hoping for one, they didn't expect the iron to be honest, but we have it, so that's pretty good here. Let's focus on the regeneration this time. Every time we tried Lizard Man, I was avoiding it, so I'll try to prioritize it more this time. Resistance is tempting, but no, I think I'll take regeneration over everything except like double hit points and attack. Let's do it. Oh, and I see horses in... no, in not in free settlement. For a second I was hoping that this is just a free settlement and uh, we'd get horses early on as well. Never mind. Anything interesting here? Ooh, hello Inquisitors. It's not just the resource, it's also a good location. It's probably our next target now when we are here. Let's see, we have one VAB. That can be a problem. We don't have enough damage to kill Inquisitor in one turn. Maybe I'll just come back later. How much money do we need? 130... 140... Thinking of... Uh, the treasury forces us to take the fight. Hmm. Well, let's get the carpenters killed and build our sawmill. Minus 16, we have 277. Uh, how much are we gonna need every turn? 60. So we have enough gold for how long? One, two, three... For three turns, then we have to start building mines. And in three turns you'll be able to get home. Clear location. I think it's better if we try to clear it now. Plus we can get some gear, but I'll have to think if we can handle the executioner especially in the second train in case we get like an executioner supported by four units the other hand, we could just uh, spam all our fatigues on our executioner if he has let's say 22 stamina should be able to burn four per turn three turns before he gets to us we would take one round attack hmm I think we can do it, it's also a level up. I'll most likely take the fight. But I'll give myself uh, some extra time to think about it off camera. We are done for today. Uh, it was a good, really good point. Uh, got both the resources, so our economy should improve uh, uh, pretty quickly now. And um, now what do we have to do? Oh, this is a... I kind of missed this, that we have a free settlement in the third ring. Anything interesting there? Plus one gem per turn. Something uh, we need to get. 
Still at only plus three gems per turn. This province won't give us anything interesting, just a lot of magic damage, so we won't be going uh, there any soon. Just thinking what we're gonna do in the next part, except uh, building all the sawmills and mines. I think you just hope for some locations. Think about sending the scout to the second ring. Oh. We'll see. I'll think about it off camera. So as usual, I hope that you like this part, that you're gonna join me for the next one again. And until then, have a good time. Bye bye.